British Prime Minister Boris Johnson, does he really have a big plan? Hi, good morning, Neil Sean here in the heart of London at 10 Downing Street, and that is your political story breaking out of London today. Now, it does appear that it's been a very busy last week for the British Prime Minister Boris Johnson in what we call over here in the United Kingdom a cabinet reshuffle. Other people worldwide might say you come in one door and leave another, and that back door may mean, of course, that you've now lost your job. I'm not sniggering, honestly. It's just the way of the world in politics, particularly. When you stand outside this famous black door on a regular basis, as I do, the faces change, obviously, quite a lot. Of course, the mainstay has always managed to stay within the boundaries and keep a job. But of course, recently under the cabinet reshuffle, we've seen a lot of brand new faces with a lot of brand new commitment and a lot of hard work moving forward. But it's the British Prime Minister himself that all eyes now fall on. As we know, when Boris Johnson came to power, he came on to power on a crest of a wave, really, the highest Conservative majority in many years. 80% plus, we were told. And a lot of people felt that, well, he could do no wrong. But then, unbeknown to all of us around the world, a terrible thing changed everything. And of course, that terrible thing was COVID-19. Now, really, for Boris Johnson, no one could have foreseen this. And really, the devastation that it would take around the world, and not just here in the United Kingdom, but on the economy, jobs, and just general people, you know, the effect on the world. Now, we are told that Boris Johnson has a brand new plan put in place. And it's interesting, because when you look at politics from both sides, I really don't think we've been in such a dire place in terms of political landscape for years. You know, over in America, Joe Biden took office, and there were lots of great things expected from him. But it does appear that Joe seems to be, as Donald Trump famously called him, Sleepy Joe. He doesn't seem to be on the job. We don't see that much of him over here. And he doesn't seem so much of a leading force worldwide. Whether you like Donald Trump or not, you certainly knew he was in the White House with all of those daily conferences. And of course, that infamous line, fake news. But it did keep him very, very visual. Now over here, we can tell you that Boris Johnson has his own plan for remaining in power, and it's this. According to a very good source, Mr Johnson sees himself as, well, a mixture of Winston Churchill and Margaret Thatcher, and would like to be in power for at least 10 years, winning, like Mrs Thatcher did, three times in a row. Now you may think this is an impossibility, but when you think about it, people said that about Margaret Thatcher too, and she proved to be incredibly popular with most of the electorate and voters. Now for Boris Johnson himself, he does seem to be able to brush off any problem that seems to come his way, whether it be ill-advised comments, uh, things he's written in the past, fallout with ministers, close aides, that sort of stuff. The British public, let me tell you, do seem to like Mr Johnson. But on a more serious note, it does appear that he also has a very strategic plan. Now, over here, we had allegedly the backlash of Brexit. We've seen HGV drivers disappearing in droves. But is this all really down to the problems created by one of the main manifestos that was pushed through to get Brexit done? A lot of people don't think so. But for Mr Johnson, moving forward, he now feels that he has the right team around him to make sure that he can make sure Britain becomes the greatest country once again in the world. And more importantly, he wants to cement, well, that very special relationship once again with our American cousins. Now, that all depends on what really happens moving forward, as I often say here on the show, with regards to who remains within the White House. But for now, Boris Johnson here at 10 Downing Street has no plans to go anywhere. Neil Sean, Downing Street, London.